Is white noise actually bad for your kids? Yes. Hi, I'm Clint. I'm a certified doctor in the state of Texas. Prolonged exposure to white noise may interfere with auditory development in children. A study from pediatrics suggests that continuous background noise can delay speech and language development. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, white noise should be used sparingly at a low volume to prevent any type of auditory development issues. Children's ears are real sensitive and high volume noise could be damaging. Experts recommend keeping the volume under 50 decibels while utilizing white noise for sleep. So what do you use then? Number one, lullaby music. Soothing lullabies can help babies relax without the risks associated with white noise. Number two, pink or brown noise. These noises are lower in pitch compared to white noise and they're less likely to cause hearing damage. Research suggests that pink noise even leads to better sleep in infants and adults alike. Number three, natural sounds. Sounds like rainfall, ocean waves, or a gentle breeze can be just as effective as white noise. These sounds create a calming atmosphere without overstimulating the baby's brain and they're even gentle on the ears. Hit follow on Unfiltered Medicine to learn more.